In search of a financial opportunity to pay off student loans, a young black American woman moves to South Korea to work. As the author, Bootsy W, recalls culture shock and fun adventures in a country far from home. She's also faced with anti-black racism and featureism, quickly learning that white supremacy is practiced not only by whites, but by those that are categorized as people of color. Based on her 10 years of living abroad, the book, Ego Igo, compares and contrasts Korea versus the United States on subjects such as code, communal living, racism, effective protests, global alliances, warrior class, music, political correctness, health, aging, money, and the coronavirus. This blunt memoir is uncomfortable, humorous, and educational. Help fight propaganda and mainstream agendas by picking up a copy of Ego Igo on Amazon.com. Peace family, Vicki Dillard here. So pleased to be a contributor here on African Diaspora News Channel. As you come in, please make sure that you like, share, and subscribe to this amazing network. Thank you so very much. Listen, family, today's uh, war briefing is not surprising, but nonetheless disgusting and disturbing. Um, just fresh off the press, North Carolina prosecutor calls the shooting of Andrew Brown Jr. justified. We saw images of that execution, that modern day lynch mob of our brother. They were there to allegedly execute a, a, a drug warrant, nonviolent. They said the police knew the whole time that he was not known for ever having weapons. But they rolled up in a truck, truck filled with a literal large number of race soldiers and unjustifiably murdered our brother, but called it a justifiable murder execution, this execution of justifiable homicide. Watch this. It says that um, here, I'm reading from the New York Times, the three sheriff's deputies who shot at Mr. Brown considered his vehicle, quote, a deadly weapon. The prosecutor said his family and lawyers have called the killing an execution. A North Carolina prosecutor said Tuesday that sheriff's deputies were justified in the fatal shooting of Andrew Brown Jr. because he used his car as a deadly weapon trying to evade arrest. Family, the family saw the footage. Reports were given uh, regarding the footage. We know full well that it showed he was shot five times based on the family's autopsy. Now they're trying to say one of the autopsies, according to the other side, is shrapnel. But nonetheless, he was hit five times. And when the family was shown only 20 seconds initially, remember, it was said that they were shooting most of them in his arm. And then one fatal shot to the back of his head. When he, uh, they said that when they were shooting, his his arms was on the steering wheel, which means he was nonviolent. He was apparently complying, but that he was backing up. As this said, this said even this even the New York Times here says evade, which means he was trying to get away. He wasn't running into the office. He was backing up to try to save his life because they were relentlessly pop 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 pop. Now they're saying no charges. You all know I don't believe in being reckless. I don't believe in being the aggressor. But the question becomes the black family. If we are not getting justice in, 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 in America's white supremacist, quote unquote, justice system, how is justice going to be produced? And I'm specifically talking to the men right now. Where are we getting justice from right now? They are not only producing justice, they won't even show, even when they showed the family an additional, what, like 18 minutes uh, more of the execution. That was days later. They still haven't showed them all of the footage. They're still hiding stuff. They're still concealing stuff. There is a clear cover up by the judge, by the prosecutor, by law enforcement, There should have been a third party investigator involved in this, not where the police or those that have conflicting interests that work with the police are the ones that's overseeing the alleged investigation. We keep having to give these reports, family, because some of you all don't believe fat meat is greasy. Some of you all don't believe we're actually at war, number one. These incidents keeps proving otherwise. Not only that, 
The question becomes, what are you going to do about it? Are you going to vote your way out of this? Are you going to keep believing in America after 500 years, nearly 466 years, you're telling me you're going to keep believing in America. And they say that the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. That's what I'm asking black fam the black family. Where are we going to get justice? How are we going to produce justice? If you guys, are, we can't even get justice. You can't even get the full video footage. And we're just seeing weak representation of the attorney crumbs and the Bakari Sellers types and all of the Roland Martins that's going out there to alleg allegedly do press conferences and they ran Roland's butt clean up out of there. But the question becomes, what are you going to do about it? And unfortunately, it's been said by one of our previous elders that we're going to be forced to separate, but it's going to get worse before it gets better. These incidents are going to have to continue to happen until you all, we, as a black unit, wake up and smell the begonias and say enough is enough. We can't keep relying on America's system. We can't continue to give credence to a system that's hell bent on killing us. And where is the world organizations? Why aren't other nations trying to come to America and invade America the same way we do other nations? Food for thought. My name is Vicki Dillard. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at Vicky X Dillard. That's V-I-C-K-I-X Dillard. Follow me on Twitter at Dillard Vicky. And be sure to uh, follow me on my Facebook fan page at Vicki Dillard. Sign up also. Very important for my weekly mastermind. I do once a week a spiritual mastermind, a metaphysical mastermind where I break down spiritual principles. You have access to me there where you can ask questions. Join for only $1 for the first 30 days. You can't beat it with a stick. Go to clubvicky.com, clubvicky.com, club, V-I-C-K-I.com. Club, Don't miss it today. Hey, brothers, I want to tell you about a website called blackmenszone.com. Now, Black Men's Zone is a site that specifically targets black men. It's a place where black men talk about issues that solely affect them. Now at Black Men's Zone, the topics will range from news to society, sports, technology, business, food and recipes, you know, some you know, you know, brothers gotta cook too. Gaming, and some of your brothers like doing some of that. Health and fitness, you know, gotta get your workout on. Music, movies, and many other topics. Now there's not many forums around these days for black men and because black men have to create them. Now this particular website is more of a forum based something simple not social media you could write what you need to write say what you need to say get on get off pretty quick but if you're interested brothers to at least go there and i want you to check it out engage in the topics go to blackmenzone.com sign up for an account and get engaged in the conversation thank you for watching make sure to subscribe to our youtube channel and download the african diaspora news channel app now available on google play and the apple app store